Hi everyone, so in this video I'll be going into a bit more detail about my battery I use on my 48 volt e-bike. So basically I bought 36 uh, 5 amp hour single cell LiPo batteries from Hobby King. So then I soldered them all together in groups of 6, making uh, basically this battery pack consists of uh, 6 6 cell LiPo packs. Uh, I'll show you a diagram a bit later in the video to it'll make a bit more sense as to how how exactly this is wired up as it's um, uh, 15 amp hour 48 volts and when I charge it it becomes 24 volts at uh, 30 amp hours and I'll show you that the details of that later in a diagram so my power connector is the uh, XT60 connectors from Hobby King uh, and the balance ports I'm using are two uh, DB9 connectors just bought off eBay so unfortunately I didn't film any of me actually uh, soldering it all together uh, and actually constructing the battery uh, so I'll put up some pictures that I took along the way and that will make a bit more sense as to how all this is wired up Okay, so this is basically how my uh, battery is uh, all connected together. Each of these rectangles is one LiPo cell, and as you can see, I have 12 cells in series. At 4 volts each equals 48 volts. And each cell is 5 amp hours, so it's each one of these is 48 volts, 5 amp hours. And I have 3 in series three groups of 12 in series together, so that equals three times five, which is 15 amp hours. So 48 volts, 15 amp hours is the total capacity and voltage. Now, my charger can only charge 24 volts or six cells maximum. That's the maximum voltage it can charge. But in order to be able to charge that, I have to split these cells after six cells and then parallel the negative to the negative again, and obviously the positive to the positive again to be able to charge them so that it will be 24 volts, uh, 30 amp hours. So normally when it's discharging, it's just 12 in series. You can see the negative, at the negative end of the battery, you get the negative wire to the motor. At the positive end of the battery, you have the positive wire to the motor. And in the middle here, I have a break. After six cells, I have a little break that they're not directly, these cells aren't soldered together. They've got wires coming off them. But all I do when I'm discharging it is loop them together so then it continues on in series to get the 48 volts and all this is just you know the standard negative positive to the motor now when I'm actually charging it a bit messy there I need to connect the positive of the link cell here to the positive to the normal positive to the motor and the negative of the link cell to the negative of the motor and so that will make it um, 24 volts and 30 amp hours so in order to achieve this I'm actually as you can see here this is the cells coming up this is the connector coming off of the battery and these little diagrams down the bottom here represent that shape on the end there although these little diagrams actually represent what if you're looking into the back of the opposing connector to this so there's two black wires, uh, this, these group of wires here and this wire here coming off and the reds obviously the positive coming off from the middle and the positive coming off from the end there. And as you can see I've uh, named the L negative, L positive, so L negative, L positive is these two which will be those two and M negative and M positive which motor negative, motor positive uh, which is these two, M negative and M positive and that's the same for both of these. So in order to create the 12 cells in series for the discharge, all I do is my opposing connector that goes onto here, I solder these two terminals together and then these have wires coming off of them. So that's the negative that will go to the motor and that's the positive that goes to the motor. 
Now for charging, I need to split the battery in half effectively. I need to charge each half of the battery, each sort of group of six cells like this and this, in parallel with each other, or sort of next to each other. So the way I achieve that, rather than having this link across here, that I have for the discharge and then the negative and the positive to the motor, I connect the negatives in parallel and the positives in parallel. So then these two positives are connected together and come out here, and the negatives are connected together and come out here, and then that just goes to my battery charger and I can charge from there. So I've soldered up this the opposing plug on this connector like this. All I do is I uh, solder, solder those two together across there and solder those two together across there. And then I have one wire coming off here that goes to the negative of my charger and the other wire that comes off the positive to go to the positive of the charger. So that's all I have. And using this type of connector, I can only connect it in one direction. So there's no way I can actually, you know, uh, short it out or have a reverse polarity because it can only go, you know, due to the shape of these terminals, it can only go together in one way. So that's why I've used these sort of connectors with this setup. So I hope that makes sense. It's a bit tricky to explain. Um, with this battery being a lithium polymer battery, each individual cell requires uh, balancing. As you can see here, I have these two DB9 connectors oh, coming off the batteries. This is basically how the cells are all balanced. I'll just look at one group of six cells. Now for balancing your cells, you need one wire from the positive end, and then every positive after that to get a reference of that cell. So these two wires will give you the voltage of this cell here, and then you need another another wire coming off this positive, so that will give you the voltage of that cell. Wire coming off this positive will give you the voltage of this third cell. Wire off this positive, this positive, and then finally the negative to give you the voltage of the last cell. Yeah. So as you can see you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven wires for a six cell LiPo battery. This being the positive end, that being the negative end. All these wires are actually connected in um, into a nice connector. Draw them up sort of evenly. And that looks terrible, but you get the idea. So now, all I've done with the rest of this pack, because I charge these these three cells, so these three groups of six, in seri uh, parallel with these three groups of six, the equivalent cell in this position, this position, so these are the five cells, all connect in directly into parallel with this this first positive wire and so on. So that this positive will go into there, this positive will go into the next one, and this is getting really messy, <laughs> but you get the idea. Every cell has the same seven connections and it all goes into uh, into the same uh, connector. Although actually in my battery I have two DB9 connectors. This is effectively my DB9 connector. So I have this half going to one, this half going to another DB9 connector, and then into my charger I have a little lead which connects both DB9s and then they are all soldered together into one and that goes into my balancing port which looks like this. So here's my balancing port here. Uh, so these two DB9 connectors made up with the two DB9 connectors on the battery and as you can see they're just spliced together in parallel and go into the seven connections into the charger. So all there is overall is those seven connections. So I know this is probably all getting very confusing if you're new to uh, lithium polymer batteries and how they balance charge. I know a lot of RC guys will be very familiar with it. Uh, but you know, if you've got any questions, just leave um, leave them in the comments below, and I'll do my best to explain better, or perhaps make another video that's a bit better than this. But yeah, just put them in the question in the comments below. So I'll stop the video there, and uh, in the next video, I'll show you how I hook it all up to charge it back up once it's uh, been used. 
Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. And uh, I'll see you next time.